Hello everyone, Supervisor Jim Desmond here with you on Monday, August 10th with a Sandag update. Last uh, week we got an update uh, from Sandag about the five big moves. Uh, one of the questions that we've all been asking for the last couple of years is how much are these big bold moves going to cost? Well, we were presented with these big bold moves uh, last Friday and uh, the price tag that we got was $177 billion. That's a lot of money for transportation in, in San Diego County. And it primarily, I mean, it, almost all of it focuses on transit uh, and getting people off the roads and into transit and off the freeways. Currently, the number of people who use transit in San Diego County pre-COVID was about 3% of the people. Even if we increase transit ridership by fivefold, that still leaves 85% of the people still using roads and freeways in San Diego County. Now, part of the plan was also to tax all of the roads. Everybody who's going to use a road is going to pay a fee to help pay for this transit system that only maybe 15, 10 or 15% of the people are going to ride. It also it gives us $177 billion in these year dollars, which means with the construction dollars, by the time these, these big 120 mile an hour trains that have been talked about and all of these and taking of roads and making them transit lanes only and taking general purpose lanes, and then your dollars, when this stuff finally gets uh, built, is going to be about $440 billion. The Muir Space Station, or the International Space Station, cost $150 billion. I mean, this is more than the space station. Also, the, you know, there was the, the speed, the train uh, to uh, the high-speed train in Central California, $90 billion. $177 billion with a Grand Central Station in downtown San Diego uh, of over $5 billion for that. I agree, we need to get better transportation options in San Diego County, but we have to do it as a region and as a system that has transit and road opportunities. The 78 corridor, people in North County have been paying since 2008 and will continue to pay till 2048 for HOV lanes down the center of the uh, 78. So right now, they're currently paying for that tax and we're not gonna get that in North County. And now, Sandeg wants to come with another tax a, a use tax or a track you in tax to pay for this new uh, transportation system that's primarily going to benefit those in downtown San, Diego, downtown San Diego, which is okay. They need transit. We need our roads and HOVs. The HOV lanes are coming up to 15. The HOV lanes are coming up to 5. Should connect across the 78. Just want to let you know this is a crazy price tag that's going to cost a lot of money. I think it's way off in tomorrow land, and we need to do some things in the shorter term to get traffic uh, under, under control in North County and that's HOV lanes on the 78. Thanks for checking in.